Welcome at June Club in Paris. Tonight we have a special guest for the party African Roots. Myself, Rocco, and Cuba tonight. What's up, guys? I'm in June, Paris, representing SA. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll be sure to uh, represent good stuff, represent home, make sure everyone knows what we are about. As much as I'm going to learn a lot here in Paris, and then I'm going to bring to you guys back at home. Did you heard about the June before you, you, you fly over? Yeah, yeah. Actually, this name is actually big in SA. Okay. Amongst uh, all the producers and DJs and everyone like within our industry, they know about June. June is actually big outside, eh, guys. It's big outside. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because uh, the June Club received many South African guests like Black Coffee, Kulo, Shimza. Yeah. Uh, probably yeah. I forget more, more, more names, but... Um... <laughs> Tell us, how did, you, how did you start to be in the music industry? How did you start DJing? Oh, you want to know everything about that? Started producing at the age of 15. I was a beatboxer at first. Okay. And then uh, got introduced to uh, the, the, the production side around 2005. And then uh, I only produced hip hop. And then a friend of mine uh, introduced me to house music around 2006. The song that got me into house music was actually um, uh, Kerry Chandler featuring Monique Bingham okay. in the morning. Okay. That's a classic. That's a tune, a classic, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then from there on, I started falling in love with house music. Then I started hearing about Roku, I started hearing about Edges, I started hearing about a lot of other living legends, which are also my mentors. So you start producing in 2006? Yeah, started producing House 2006. House in 2006, yeah. okay. And what was your first release and which label did you release? First release was uh, So Far Away featuring uh, uh, Nathan X. It was on uh, Deeper Shades of House. Oh. This was around 2009. Okay, on Lars Berenroth label. Lars Berenroth, okay. yes. And we have like a super hot track currently called uh, no, no, Doubt. no Doubt alongside uh, uh, Marissa Guzman, Guzman, which is doing very well, very well in the market right now. People still playing it now, actually. Yeah, and it's still growing. Back at home in SA, it's like, it's growing. It's only starting now to pick up. And this song was released last year around uh, May. Mr. Rocco Rodemo. Yeah. <laughs> I've always wondered how, how, okay, when, when you're in studio and you're about to produce a project or something, what, what goes into your head? What inspires you into uh, creating the good music that you do, like currently? Okay, I don't know if it's good music, <laughs> but hey. it's my music. <laughs> and um, when I do music, I, 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 I try to do my, my music with a lot of emotion. For example, if I do a remix, uh -huh. people sending me their acapellas, or I listen many, many times the acapella, and I try to grab the 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 the, the moment uh -huh. on the music, on the melody of the acapella, when I can feel something or say, "Wow, something happening now." Yeah, yeah. Even if it's only two seconds of the acapella. I'm gonna start to work around that part of the around acapella. Around that section, yeah, yeah. And uh, it's all I do with all my music, and uh, I can spend hours and hours just to do some some chords on with the strings. Uh -huh. What would you describe as a signature to your sound? I know you've mentioned 
you like to add strings and a bit of melodies. But there's something uh, that I've noticed with uh, the Rocco sound. You have, I don't know how you do this, but your hats, they are totally different. They're like, you can, you can tell that's a Rocco song <laughs> because of the hats that you okay. play. In they're too loud, probably. Like the pattern, I don't know. The okay. oh, man. Because I'm using uh, some jazz hi-hats. Oh. So I'm using jazz hi-hats that I put on the house BPM. Yeah. That's why it sounds probably different. Just and there is a shuffle on it, a groove yeah, from the jazz. Like... I keep it. Uh, so probably it's what making my music, my hi-hats, yeah. <laughs> so unique. <laughs> whack, <laughs> whack, 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 MCs, please don't diss me. I don't know how to, I don't know how to beatbox. It's been, it's been a long time since I beatboxed, so this is, uh -uh. so yeah. <laughs>